The Outer Limits, 1963. The Human Factor. Man, there's nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to touch just the picture. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all you see and hear. You're about to participate in a great adventure. You're about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to, mind to the outer limits. Man, I'm Northern Greenland. The mountains stand like a wall along Victoria Channel whose straight course marks the line of the Bolton Fault. Until recently, not even the Eskimos ventured into this Arctic waste. But, but today, as in another other lonely places in the world, a land is so dominated by these instruments of defect, defect, detection. We stand as grim reminders of man's fear of man. This is Port Taboo, a name given to this predominantly underground place. A young officer explained that letters in the taboo stood for total abandonment of better understanding. So 200 men and a few women make their make this their permanent residence. Their task is to maintain a constant alert against enemy attack and to be prepared to respond devastatingly. It's completely accident proof, Colonel. Yes, this lead shielding keeps the radiation to at a safe level. Fusible component separated by graphite and neutron absorbers. There can't be detection unless the absorbers are removed. There can't be destination. Detonation and nested absorbers are removed. How is that done? By this bar. When it goes down, the absorbers are rejected. The bomb explodes. Bar locked. The bar is locked in place. We won't be unlocked until the bomb is installed. We won't be unlocked until the bomb is installed. The key, I have it. I must have that key. Major Brothers, I am the project engineer. The heckler incubus must be destroyed. Hand over that key. We wasted enough time. But Major Brothers, it must be destroyed, rumbling. Rumbling phase, man of PA, attention, all personnel, attention personnel. The servants you have just experienced was a major earthquake. It's here, it's finally here. Our entrance to the cake, the epicenter. He's near the heckler in in Plymouth. I never mind the shocks. Maybe it's plain, expected during the next 24 hours. Coming to get us. A man shouted after him. Major, howling wind, buzzing. If this works, it were possible for two minds to communicate directly, share the same thoughts and emotions simultaneously. Emotions to Socrates. Socrates' intellect is a useful but devious friend. A machine will let me know what the subject is really feeling way down underneath the intellect. I'm not sure I want to go through with it. Be a good girl. A kindly look at the instant cope. She laughs. You can't tell much too much from that. Can you? No. But in a moment, I let I may know what you really feel because I intend to amplify those waves and feed them back for the machine to terminal instrument, which can translate them back into faults and emotions where it produced them. And the terminal instrument is your my own brain, so that during the experiment. Our two brain minds will be joined. To put it simply, your thoughts will be in my head. But to be put it simply, your thoughts will be in my head, and yours in mine. Right now, relax. I'm bringing up the power. I a steady pulse. Steady pulse increases. I'm oh, sorry, Doctor Hamilton. You had a little shock, didn't you? I simply had no idea that you that you thought of me that way. Well, the experiment was a total success. Arranged for my transfer in the morning. Transfer? Why? Wait a minute, Ingrid. Let's look at this objectively. You won't have to be don't you don't have to be a patient. But when I well, when I do have a patient, a big part of my job is to help him discover the secret wishes fences by means. When that is done human factor centre does when that's done human factor centre yes, Colonel Ress. He's right here. There's a minute. Yeah, Colonel Campbell Campbell, Colonel. What can I do for you? I hope you, I can help you, Major Brothers. I hate to lose my top engineer, but he's sick. 
Why can you? When can you see him? By the way, can you brief me? Hang on a minute. Hamilton is, Hamilton's in. Go talk with him. Talk won't do. Drive away, Colonel. Talk won't drive it away, Colonel. Our only hope is to find where it's hiding and destroy it. I want you to explain that to Dr. Hamilton. Might have been that bumping on the head. You insist that base is invaded by an alien. I'll call you after I've talked with him. Ingrid, no, it's Dr. Hamilton I'm thinking of. He needs someone who's intelligent, efficient and emotional. It's by morning. Ingrid, secret faults have a look a way of losing their effectiveness. They aren't, they aren't, they aren't secret anymore. I'm not leaving you, Dr. Hampton, because I'm embarrassed or ashamed. You're not, I'm not, but I'm not exactly what you call a mechasis either. While well, I was experiencing your faults and emotions, I felt your wisdom, your courage and gentleness. Many lovely things, but no love, your courtesy, dedicated your devotion. And all of, your wo- all of your work, you don't need a woman or wife. Good afternoon, Major Brothers. Good morning, Major. Colonel Campbell told me you were coming. Colonel Campbell ordered me to come. You're not under arrest. Don't mind losing your escort. We can be alone in the laboratory. Have a seat, Major. Relax. It seems to me that someone in his, his base wants me to si- be saved. He wants me declared mentally incompetent. But you'll soon learn I, I'm not. Well, go ahead, Doctor. Throw some tests at me. Who is it? Analysis, huh? Ran the rugged rock, the rugged rascal ran. Used to be a test for sanity. You know, people with dementia could never say that. Ran the rugged, rugged rock, the rugged, rugged rascal ran. Ran that fast, ran the rugged rock, the rugged, rascal, rugged rascal ran. Ran fine. We can cross that off. Nothing wrong with your speech centre. Careful copy, you don't drink. We are giving it up. All the habits that may affect my nerves are weakened. My mind, my body. They things are not things that are not possible. Somewhere I see this. Yes, as the old woman said, as you kiss the cow, each to her own intents. Why do you think everyone on this place wants you? Why do you think everyone on this place wants you to pay in every country? Because in the world, cowards don't be found. Every man is afraid to have power. Most men try to hide. You believe that I saw that I saw it? Being major self sacrifice is a rare thing. You must had a ver- you must have had a very valid reason. I want to know what what the reason to be able to understand it. Would you be willing to participate in a rather suffocated experiment? It would help me to believe it. What is it a lie detector test? Is it little more than that? 
Are you afraid of it? No. No crying to be afraid. It's a crying to run away from fear. When I was a kid, I never did that. Then you won't do it now? Yeah, are you right-handed? Yes. Why? What has that got to do with it? It means that your speech centre. Where you do most of your thinking. Where you'll be on the left side. But it's happening nothing. I'm just interested in the controls. Sudden pulse, steady pulse. Is this thing going to hurt? No. No, I'm just raising the implication. Pulse rate increased. Dr. Hamilton, Major Brothers. I'm here, Dr. Hamilton. Incredible. I'm Dr. Sacrifice on the seventh move. Seventeenth move. Now, I'm asking me something, anything you want to know about Dr. Hamilton. I'll tell you. You sure I made a thorough study of Dr. Hamilton. Dr. Hamilton told me he had a patient once that thought he was an Albert Einstein. sign. He knew every detail about Einstein's private life. He talked very lucidly on the theory of relativity. So, so I, I must stay awake. Now, someone has to listen to me. Look, the man you think is Dermiton, is Major Brothers. He's sick with guilt and thinks the base but should be punished. He's out to destroy it. You don't destroy it or it's all. He's out for some time. Be out for some time, Dr. Hamilton. Here, Colonel. I'll come in, Jim. Sit down. So I ah, get Dr. Hamilton his coffee. Can you talk about Major Brothers? How is he? Not much hope. I'm afraid of that. I was afraid of that. I haven't. Have him invalid home. Before you do that, I'd like to investigate further. He stuck in his head against us against he struck his head against an atomic char cartridge, that's right. I so it's occurred to me he might have received a strong dosage of radiation in the brain. We know that the dosing radiation radiation can damage the other organs. And the reason the brain might be immune might be. Except there are little that there was little radiation. Radiation. I just check. If you made your brother's condition, I'd like to see the atomic cartridge myself. I think it's necessary. But you see, Jim, how now that I have reason to think back. I realize the brothers have been a sick man for some time. But that's not that's not true. Jim, I'm not trying to be a doctor be the doctor. Your coffee's getting cold here. I mean I worked with him for a long time and seen him change, change how? The oil study about six months ago, uh, they were surveying party on the infamous. All these men didn't get b- come back. Pope Gordon, you must remember. You must remember, Gordon fell into this crevice. It was impossible to get him out. At least that's the way brothers reported it. Well, it was true, wasn't it? Which I knew. Brothers that sat and we all did work to investigate. Gordon, in that's necessary to slay. It served no purpose. No, because by the time the rescue party got there, fresh snow covered everything. But one man said that they wanted to attempt a rescue, but brothers weren't permitted. Man, the crevice was dead. Officer must think of all these men not risk their lives or the possibility. Exactly what brothers said. What do you mean? What, how do I know? You know, I heard it from him when he was in my office yesterday. Yes, of course. I've got you fellas can find anything out of anything. Hey, brothers, left Gordon here, there. As an officer, he may have done the right thing. Sometimes it's better to be a man than an officer. If I've been there, I've gone down into that crevice. I don't care if they demoted me to private. I wouldn't, le- I wouldn't leave a man in the ice if there's a whispering chance 
we're getting him out alive. What's wrong, Jim? You look sick. It's nothing. You keep your office too warm. You usually complain and keep it too cold. Uh, it was after that the brothers began to change. That's when I started talking about the courage, devotion to duty, complaining about the lanes, as though he, he would thought what he destroyed the intimus, because that's where the golden body lay. Don't think bumping his head had anything to do with it. But if you think otherwise, look into it. Yes, I'd like maybe for us to have every chance. I'd like to see that atomic cartridge. I call for Major Giles and tell him you have a, my permission. I think we should be be. I think you should be there displaying things. But we we'll leave it. We we'll have to be there. I was. I slept on it. You were right about. You were right about secrets seeming less effective out in the open. Or maybe they're more effective. What is it? What is it? Get out. Go back where you belong. Stop accusing. Go. It's your fault, not mine. There's nothing I could do, Doctor Hammond. Get out. What are you doing here? I don't understand. Tuttering. Surely I must have a pistol. Thank you, that's all. Dr. Hamilton, get me Major Giles. Yes, Dr. Hamilton. Major Giles, meet me in the front of the atomic storeroom. About ten minutes, good. His voiceover, Major Brothers, ride at the level four, fifteen. Behave a pattern of deep guilt. Feelings of persecution, mix of delusion, of ranger. Every man is afraid of his brother. Or does he mean every man is afraid of brothers? There is habit of eating sunflower seeds. Well, what is he? Is this thing? Is this is the thing he sees? Question: Should I link my mind with this? With his to find out about Ringwood? Phone rings. Yes. No, he isn't here at the moment. I'm glad to hear that Major Brothers is feeling better this morning. What? He stopped insisting he's Doctor Hamilton. So, Mister Larkin, for Sergeant Peterson has the okay visits with Major Brown of us. Can I have Major Brothers chart, please, Miss Lincoln? Lincoln? Dr. Hamilton asked. Just, Dr. Hamilton, just asked, just asked, let me make the, take these notes before I forget what he said. I hear he's insisting he was Dr. Hamilton. He stopped that. He's come enough to, for me to talk to him. Dr. So Hamilton asked me to. Just give me a moment, minute. Stay at your post. He won't. We won't need you. Regulations, Doctor. No one is allowed in the storeroom alone. You won't be alone. I'll be with you. Remain outside. I'm sorry, sir. Orders. I told you remain. Why? It won't be. They won't be in the way. No more than two of us should be exposed to radiation. You think about our welfare. There's no need to worry. No danger at all. He's right in there. You only have to talk to him through the grill. Ingrid, tell me who I am. Who I am, Ingrid. What did I tell you yesterday? You told me you loved me. Took a look into my eyes, Doctor Hamden. I tell them. No, wait, listen. They won't believe you. They, that's what I've been trying to tell myself. That's now and now. There's so little time. Major Brother's mind is in my body. You may destroy the base. You got to get me out of here. How the keys? You've got to get to the key, keys, the keys. Kind of candle crackles there. Silence so C, even a direct contact the radiation level is low. If a man has stayed here for hours, he might become contaminated. But a control bar, suppose he struck that and jarred it enough to move neutron absorbers. Couldn't that cause a bias of radiation? No, it, can, it can't move. So controls are perfect. No controls are perfect. How is the bar release of a key? How did you find him? Miss Larkin, I need to talk to Don. How did you find him, Doctor Miss Larkin? I need to talk to Doctor Hamilton. Call him. What's his extension? Twenty six. Imagine forgetting your own number. Here, I'll look it up for you. Yeah, oh yes, here it is. Mind my handing that over to me. What the keys? Oh yes, of course. Thanks. But the key releases its level bar. But it it can't be motionless when not. It may be microscopic, but with radioactive materials, a micron, too much can be deadly. I don't understand much about safety devices. Not a key. That you t- it's not a key. It turns a magnetic key. It fits in those openings and releases controls by magnetic force. There's no movement at all. What does it, such a key look like? I don't, can't see what bearing it has on major brain of us. 
But if you are interested, I can show it to you. First we need the key that unlocks the key. Hey, what are you doing? Open it, oddly compound of door. There are two prongs, actually two magnetic poles fit into those two openings of the carriage. Cartridge. If they, that was done, the cartridge would be turned into a atom bomb. Not quite. In order to show you how perfect these safety devices are, you still can't move the bar. Go ahead, try it. You just run out. Call security. Give the alarm, general alarm. You're dangerous. Security, put on the general alarm. So you're trying to see the poor thing going off accidentally or non existent. How do you release the control? It's simply a matter of adjusting the dial to release the safety. I don't see that. Man, attention, all personnel. Colonel Campbell speaking. Major Brothers escaped from the hospital. I repeat, Major Brothers is dangerous. He's dangerous. Campbell, PA. I repeat, dangerous. Anyone see him? Notify security immediately. Campbell, PA. Dr. Hamilton, return to office immediately. The key, put it back. You're showing, they were showing me the doll. You heard me, Colonel, Colonel Campbell. The one in your office? No. He hasn't turned yet. No, he hasn't. He didn't tell me where he was going. All I can, all I can do is let you know that when he comes in. Where is he? Watch out, Letros, hurry. Go ahead, kill me. That's what everyone wants me to do. That's what everyone wants to do, kill me. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to save you. Turn it on. A gun, a gunshot, help me. Help me, Electro, Electros, hurry. Steady pulse, hurry. Tell me what to do, amplification. Raise of amplification. Pulse rate increase is. But I am a no, Ingrid, I'm here. Yesterday when I found out that you loved me, I didn't place much value on it, Ingrid. I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't, I never needed it. Last, too many people needed it. Why, what this world needs is more people that want it. How do you know it was my mind in brother's body? I thought you knew it's your mind that attracts me most. I felt, I felt, I felt him die. Did you find out what death is? No. I'm sure for Major Burvers, it's not a pleasant, more pleasant life. You see, free now the ghost of Private Jordan, the ghost of Lunanizer, hallucination, creation of his own mind, guilt, own guilt, guilt miserable mind. Why, why didn't you ask him, ask, he asked how he died. What will you tell him? Only truth. Major hey, Brothers shot himself. A man, a weapon. No, only an instrument. Never good or evil. To man, put it to use. Like so many of man's inventions, can he be used either to save lives or destroy them? To make them sane, drive them mad? To increase man's under- human understanding or to betray it? But it will be men who make the choice. Is the self the instrument of nothing? Until you add the human factor, we could turn and control your television set to all of you until next week, same time when the channel voice will take you to the outer limits.